Okay, well, what I'm going to show you here, I took my gloves off. I want to show you something here. Some old car parts. This is a fuel pump from an old car. This would bolt to the side of the engine. They weren't in the fuel tank years ago. They were in the engine. And basically, there was a diaphragm in here. Usually it was a shellacked piece of paper, actually like a heavy piece of, almost like cardboard, that was coated in a, sh a shellac type of a thing. And then there's this arm here, okay. Now this bolted to the side of the engine. There was a hole in the side of the engine in the engine block. This bolted through, the, this arm got pushed through into the engine. And the camshaft had a little lobe on it that every time it came around, it would hit this and it would work it. It would make it go like that. So every time the camshaft came around, it would be, you know, and it would actually be pumping this up and down. And that, in turn, would um, work the diaphragm up and down, which would actually draw the gasoline in through one side and out through the other side to the carburetor. And it was all, it was all mechanical. There's the other fuel line for it. It was all mechanical. And um, there's an alternator over there. I have a feeling these parts are all from a Ford pickup truck. Um, they look like they're all from a Ford pickup truck to me. This long, the long um, arm on this looks like it's from an old 70s Ford. And that alternator, well that alternator, they had them on them, but so did a lot of cars. I had a 78 Oldsmobile Delta 88 that had that same alternator. Anyway, um, but the Ford pickup trucks had that too. A lot of vehicles did though. But anyway, I found some other parts in here that look like they're from a Ford pickup too, though. So, and like I say, that long arm there, that's, I've seen that on old Fords before. Uh, oftentimes the arm would be shorter than that, but Fords seem to have that long arm. Anyway, um, that's the reason with the old cars, you had to pump on the accelerator pedal um, to manually draw gas up. And the old cars with the carburetor, um, they actually had a reservoir, a gasoline reservoir called an accelerator pump, an accelerator, or, or, uh, well, an accelerator reservoir. There was a part of the accelerator pump, which was attached to the carburetor. And that was to give you a little reservoir of gasoline so you could start the car. And also it was a little extra gasoline that was always available in case you wanted to pass somebody or you needed to gain a lot of speed in a hurry. When you shoved your accelerator down, it would draw on that extra little bit of gas that was in there. And um, that's how it, there was a float in there too that would, brass float, that would, that would control a needle valve and so on to allow the gas to go through. That's a very rudimentary explanation, but that's kind of, sort of, how, how it worked anyway. But um, kind of neat anyway to see this stuff. Yeah, it's all stuff I've dealt with in the past. So it's all kind of neat for me to see anyway. But yeah. There we go. Anyway, I'm going to hang up the phone now. And I'm going to get moving. The sky is quite beautiful today when there's some blue in it. It's gone gray a few times, but for the most part it's been pretty, pretty decent. Hasn't been a bad day to be out working, that's for sure. Alright, we'll see you all later.